Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. Season 5, Episode 2 of Game of Thrones. I'm very tired. Igly and Corey are not. We are currently dealing with the aftermath of Tywin Lannister's untimely demise. Where Jamie and Cersei are having a beef off. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Tyrion's making his way wherever the hell he's making his way to. He's over in Essos. Uh, then we have Arya. We have not seen mm -hmm. yet. No update. Uh, yet. No update yet. Uh, yet. Bran has made it to the Three-Eyed Raven. Mm -hmm. Was that last episode or the finale? That was the finale. finale. Oh, mm -hmm. well, I got it all jumbled. Anywho, um, and then up north at the wall, John put Mance Raider out of his misery, out mm -hmm. of his fiery misery. Mm -hmm. uh, mercy killing, if you will. Much to yeah. Stannis and the Red Woman's dismay. Mm -hmm. Because they couldn't sacrifice him to the Lord of Light. Who rightfully deserves it. Um, what else, Igly? What's in your long list of notes? I mean, you're kind of like going on how much you like Mance Raider, and like it's a tragedy he was taken so soon from us. But over here, your glazing Stan is still holy His shit. His soul man. could have <laughs> lived on for an eternity with the Lord of Light. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah. Okay. Um, as I'm scrubbing uh, through here, the only real thing I missed was. Still argued about the fighting pits. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Baelish is taking Sansa somewhere, we don't know where. Mm -hmm. Uh, Brienne tried to break up with Pod again, it's like the 30th time that happened. Oh, and the Sons of the Harpy that was That's the big, big one. one. The mm -hmm. Sons of the Harpy, yes. How could I forget such a key part of last episode? Um, yeah, got, got introduced to them. Which is where like that whole fighting pit thing is coming in. Uh, and yeah. What have you been stewing, Igly? Uh, well, I stewed a lot in the last, in the like in the post discussion. discussion. Yeah. Sure uh, did. I think it was our longest recording session to date. Well, for um, Is the intro singular? ended up being longer than the post discussion? Yeah, so those two that in tandem... That makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> well, to be fair, y'all bust out the fun questions of who I like and who I hate. So... I honestly was, like I, I was tried a little to bit have extended. it be concise, but like on your choices, Blake was antagonizing you. So you had yeah, no well, so it's not even antagonizing. It's just like at this point, I just hate that I'm watching this show with Igly. <laughs> now I'm antagonizing the comment section. Listen, but uh, every time you speak, I like I'm gonna extend my vocabulary. You like the worst characters. I just All can't right. get by sacrificing people <laughs> to the flame. You know, they did that in the Salem witch trials. I'm not, I'm not a witch hunter, you know? Uh-huh. I don't agree with that shit. There's more uh, I could say, but I'm trying anyway, not to replicate last week. Any, I talked at great lengths last episode. Um, the main two things are my, on my mind. Uh, what happens to the rest of the free people? Um, do they see Mance being made like an example of and bend the knee to Stannis? Do they fear death? We know how they feel. They don't believe in a life after death, or at least Tormund doesn't, but the way he was looking at Mance, I'm wondering what f like emotions he was feeling. Was it anger? Was it fear that he was going to die soon? I don't know. Uh, and then uh, what's going to happen in King's Landing? Because all for all like purposes like J if you if you have J jamie and cersei at the helm now what, what the hell are they gonna do <laughs> uh i don't know what, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how plans transpire there it's gonna be fun if everything i hope it doesn't lead to a bad path for my boy jamie cersei we still got that third final question she asked the witch in the four uh, in the swamp so mm. interesting to see what's gonna happen from here on out very okay Corey. any thoughts nope i'm good to go all right well before we get into this if you enjoy these hit that like button subscribe to the notification bell so you don't miss when they drop every sunday but if you want to wait till next sunday for the next reaction we have up to four weeks early access available on our patreon 
right now. There's also a link to join our free Discord in the description with the link to that Patreon. And there's links to our socials down there as well. Check all those out and let's get into episode dose. Lego. Let's do it. Yeah. Bravos. That's tough. In the old times, <laughs> whenever Bravos stood in danger, the Titan would the Titan. with fire in his eyes. He's just a statue. Hmm, just wait. <laughs> Don't be afraid. He just turns into an Elden Ring boss. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Is that Melania? No. You'd know by now if you play the f the game. That was a, that was a half one. Mhm. Mm yeah, if you played the fun game, yeah. Mm. What if Gentry just sailed across the sea by accident? There's got to be an explanation of why he has not shown up. Oh, I got one for you, brother. It's not building. Black and white. Ooh. This is where you'll find the man you seek. Nice doors. Interesting. Yeah, I leave you. Anyone home? <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Hello. Follow Mogulis. Jack and Hagar gave me this. No one here by that name. Yeah. Please. But wait. Damn. Well. Cersei. Ah, oh, man. Frey. The mountain. Marin Trump. Well, it's still a little shorter Cersei. than normal. Wait, wait till she finds out about the Boltons. Mm hmm. Marin Trump. The mountain. All night, wow. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> the smile. Too bad. Oh, wow. Hold up. So it was good news. My marriage oh my god. Been accepted. Podrick, you have Someone eyes. You have line of sight. I'll have some. Ooh. Yes. My lady. What is it? Sounds a stock. Don't look. Yeah. My lady, I don't think this is the right Ready the horses. We only have one horse. Find more. That's a tough ask. <laughs> if you gonna steal a horse? Lord Baelish. Lady Sansa. My name is Brienne of Tarth. We've met with Renly Baratheon. He said, your loyalty came free of charge. Someone appears to have paid quite a bit for it since then. Yeah, shade. Y'all don't want the smoke. Okay. Lady Sansa. Before your mother's death, I was her sworn sword. You were Catelyn Stark's sworn sword. I was. Strange. I knew Kat from the time we were children. She never mentioned you. It was after Renly's murder. Ah, yes. You were accused of killing him. Okay. I tried to save him. But we're gaslighting here. By men who didn't see what happened. And what did happen? He was murdered by a shadow. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. A shadow? This woman swore to protect Renly. She failed. She swore to protect your mother. She failed. Why would I want somebody with your history of failure guarding Lady Sansa? Why should you have any say in her affairs? Yeah. Mm. I am her uncle. I married her Aunt Lysa shortly before my beloved's untimely death. You mean before, before you killed her? And you were an mm -hmm. outsider. Lady Sansa, if we can have a word alone. No. Okay. Please, my lady, if I could explain. I saw you at Joffrey's wedding, bowing to the king. Neither of us wanted to be there. Sometimes we don't have a choice. And sometimes we do. You should leave. We don't want our new friend okay. wandering Enjoy the your time. alone. The roads in these parts aren't safe. Why don't you stay? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 
God damn it, bro. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, Pod. You can't leave him. Okay. Idiots. <laughs> Sansa doesn't want you. Pod needs you. No. <laughs> that sucks. No. What did Bronn say about squires? Guess that means you're unarmed. God damn it. Oh! Let's go. I don't, I don't remember what Bron Bronn said about squires. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Valyrian steel! Said everyone wants to hit a squire. <laughs> Sansa Stark, wary of strangers as you should be. I saw mm. her riding on the east road with Littlefinger. A little bit more them. than that. My lady, I swore to their mother I would protect those girls. But if they don't want your protection, do you think she's safe with Littlefinger? No. No, my lady. Get your horse. Granted, if you kill Littlefinger in front of her, like, I don't, know, I don't think she's coming with you. But that would be nice. A summons from the Queen. Okay. There are only two like it in the world. The one I'm wearing, the one I gave to Marcella. It's a threat. Of course it's a threat. Our daughters alone in dawn surrounded oh. by people who hate our family. That's so loud. Our daughter's in danger and you're worried I'm speaking too loudly. The world can't know she's our daughter. Mm. Then don't call her your daughter. You've never been a father to her. If I was yeah. a father to any of my children, they'd be stoned in the streets. And what has your caution brought? Our eldest child murdered at his own wedding. That's Our not his fault. Our daughter shipped off to dawn. That's not his fault. Our baby boy is set to marry that smirking whore from Highgarden. Not his fault. You can't blame Jamie for any of this. I'm gonna make things better. You've never made anything better. I'm going to dawn. And I'm bringing our daughter home. You go down there with an army, it's an act of war. No army. Do you know where they're keeping her? She should. Oberyn mentioned the war's gardens. Mm hmm I'll find her. You're going to dawn. A one-handed man. Alone. I never said I was going alone. Who's he bringing? Who's he bringing? Who's he bringing? What kind of friends we got? No sunflowers. I don't like yellow. <laughs> Roses are very nice, definitely roses. This is such a good scene. And music, I adore music, but no flutes. Food is the most important thing, don't you agree? I think Bronze like, regretting his some choices. That's what they eat in the capital, don't they? I never thought I'd end up settling down in a place like this. You won't. When Mother dies, my sister gets the castle because she's older. She hates me. She calls no me castle? names and sometimes, even still, she pulls my hair when plan. not looking. You know what I think? W wedding's over, if there's no castle. Good person. Who's that? <laughs> Jamie. I missed it. <laughs> so Jamie? Okay. So the what's, that, what's that reaction? Lollis will be marrying Sir Willis Bracken. Hmm. We made a deal, your sister and I. I would have advised against that. How is this good for me? Because you're going to come with me and help me with something important. And when we return, I'm going to give you a much better girl and a much better castle. Okay. Return from where? As far south as south goes. Oh. Who's this we're looking at? Okay. It's not a good look. The prince does not wish to be disturbed. Remove yourself from my path or I'll take that long axe and I'll shove Captain. it. Captain! Oh. Your brother was murdered. Is and that why he couldn't here come? In the water gardens. What will you do about his death? I will bury him. I will mourn for him. And then? You would have me go to war. The whole country would have you go to war. Then we are lucky the whole country does not decide. Let me send her to Cersei. One finger at a time. Okay. That's I messed up. My brother, and you made him very happy. 
For that, you will always have a place in my heart. But we do not mutilate little girls for vengeance. Not here. Not while I rule. And how long will that be? Okay. So first impression of Oberyn's brother? What do you think, Igly? I thought he could. I thought he was in a wheelchair for a second. He's not rushing into war, so. See you coming from a mile off. Oh no. Was it empty? No one here. We go. In a hurry? You're afraid? Unsullied, fear nothing. Well, that's your problem. You understood fear once long ago, but you've forgotten what it means. Someone who's forgotten fear has forgotten how to hide. Oh, good point. Oh! Fear is useful that way. Okay. Good lesson. I thought there was gonna be like a little hidden basement, not behind the goddamn wall. The mask. I want a Sons of the Harpy mask. Sons of the Harpy. Okay. They want to put a collar back on my neck. You must kill him. It would send a message. I think you should exercise restraint, Your Grace. Why? Thank you all for your counsel. If only she had a wise voice that she could trust. Mm -hmm. Really missing George. Promote the right thing. When the people rose in revolt against him, your father set their towns and castles aflame. I'm not my father. No, Your Grace. Thank the gods that the Mad King gave his enemies the justice he thought they deserved. And each time it made him feel powerful and right until the very end. I will not have the son of the harpy executed without a fair trial. Dude, Barrison Selmy has such a cool voice. Yeah, yeah. For real. There's a bug. Yes, best be careful. <laughs> you might accidentally consume some solid food. He chugs it. Besides. <laughs> What else Protein. is there for me to do inside this box? She wanted me to leave King's Landing. She begged me. Oh, man. Yeah. I wouldn't go. Why? Because I liked it. Power. People follow leaders. And they will never follow us. They find us repulsive. I find us repulsive. And we find them repulsive, which is why we surround ourselves with large, comfortable boxes to keep them away. People like you and me are never really satisfied inside the box. Not for long. Okay. Let's go for a walk. No. How many dwarves are there in the world? Is that they're going to kill them all? You probably would. Oh my god. Not him. <laughs> you <laughs> I looked up. Queen. Take the head. Pardon me, Your Grace. I would take it if you don't mind. It could be okay. useful for my work. All right, weirdo. Over there, we'll be fine. Rest in peace, the Tyrion look-alike. Over there. <laughs> Dude, I'm surprised by Cells, man, just to live this long. In addition to being master of ships, the king has appointed you master of coin. Oh, your grace. He called your experience <laughs> okay. and wisdom in financial matters unparalleled. In the past, on several occasions, a grand maester has served as the king's hand. The king oh my god. Named Kyburn, the new master of whispers. Your grace, him? This, this <laughs> man? This, this embarrassment to the citadel? The maesters are beefing. Your grace, I cannot Uncle see Kevin, how... In light of your position as commander of the Lannister armies, it would please the king if you would serve as his master of war. I would like to hear it from the king himself. The king is very busy at this moment. He should be here, learning what it means to rule. He is learning. I did not return to the capital to serve as your puppet, to watch you stack the small council with sycophants. <laughs> you would abandon your king in his time of need. If Reason. he wants to send for me, I will be waiting for him. At Casterly Rock. Okay. He said he's going home. We got time for this bullshit. <laughs> Uncle Kevin a G. Snake. Snake. S. It's an S. Nice. Right. Very good. Huh? Did you know that the youngest Lord Commander in history, Osric Stark, was elected at the age of 10? I know S. 
You'll learn, I promise. That's, That's a start. start. I taught Sir Davos and all Jinx. people are terrible at learning new things. <laughs> Did she should just become a teacher? We're doing just fine. I'm sure you and Ostrich Stark have a lot <laughs> to talk about. <laughs> what do you call it in the South? What happened to your face? Grayscale. Grayscale. What do you call it north of the wall? I don't know. But two of my sisters had it. They both died. Oh. How did they kill you? I don't remember. What happened to your sisters? <laughs> you don't want to know. They acted like animals. My father okay. had to drag them out to the woods on a rope. What did he do with them in the woods? Uh. Mm. Don't want to know. You need to stay away from that girl. Why? She's a wildling. Okay. Her name's Gilly. They could strike at him by striking at you. Gilly wouldn't do that. You have no idea what people will do. All your books and you still don't know. You keep her locked up. What? How is she supposed to learn? I think she's a pretty good judge of character. I ordered Mansoura burnt at the beach. Yeah. You prevented that order from being carried out. Show too much kindness, people won't fear you. If they don't fear you, they don't follow you. Facts. With respect, your grace, the free folk will never follow you, no matter what you do. Facts. You're the man who burned their king alive. Facts. Who then? You? Yeah. No, only one of their own. We're like half. You know this wretched girl, Lyanna Mormont, the Lord Commander's niece, Lady of Bear Island, and a child of ten. I asked her to commit her house to my cause. That's her response. Bear Island knows no king but the king in the north, whose name is Stark. Oh, yes. It amuses you. I don't punish men for bravery. I reward them. I don't doubt it, Your Grace. But I'm a brother of the Night's Watch. I don't know what I have left to give you. You can give me the North. No. I can't. Even if I wanted to, I'm a bastard. The snow. Kneel before me. Lay your sword at my feet. No. Pledge me your service and you'll rise again as John Stark, Lord no. of Winterfell. <laughs> that is not happening. <laughs> I'll make you a Stark with the stroke of a pen. It's the first thing I ever remember wanting. I couldn't be happier for you. I'm gonna refuse him. Yeah. I swore a vow to the Night's Watch. If I don't take my own words seriously, what sort of Lord of Winterfell would I be? He's spitting. Sir Alistair Thorne is not just a knight, he's a man of true nobility. He was acting commander when the war came under attack. He's the only true choice. Yes. Yeah. Sam, speak up. So Dennis Malister joined the Watch as a boy. If there's no one else, we Sam. Will begin the voting. Sam. The triangular tokens count for Sir Alistair. Speak up. Thor. The square tokens for Sir Dennis Marister. Sam. Each Mr. Raymond. Will... Let's go. Samuel Tarly. Go on. <laughs> Sam the Slayer. Yeah. Another wildling lover, just like his friend Jon Snow. Okay, y'all fake. Love Slayer. <laughs> Bro, you were. In the meat dungeon. Well, the Slint knows her quite well. They cowered together in the larder during the battle for the wall. Oh, <laughs> in a reverse. A wildling girl, <laughs> a baby, and Lord Janus. I found him there after the battle was over, in a puddle of his own making. Mm. Piss baby. Got a weapon. Jon Snow was leading. Yeah. Sir Alistair fought bravely, it is true. Mm -hmm. When he was wounded, it was Jon who saved us. Mm -hmm. Mormon himself chose John to be his steward. He saw something in John, and now we've all seen it too. He may be young, but he's the commander we turn to when the night was darkest. Yeah. That was a bar. Yeah. I don't think John was expecting to get applause. Ah, oh, yeah. Can't argue with any of that. But who does John Snow want to command? Night's Watch or the Wildlings? Both. Everyone knows he loved a wildling girl. He spoke with Man's Raider many times. Do you want to choose a man who has fought the wildlings all his life? Or a man who makes love to them? It is time. Does he want to lead? Brother, there's literally a hole at the top. <laughs> it, it would it would get stuck. Oh man, it's a close race. Between... Oh no, someone got destroyed though. <laughs> it appears to 
be a tie, Master. I forgot who's who. He's feeling out the shapes. Did he just put to his own vote? <laughs> 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 what a guy! Oh my god. That's awkward for them. Let's go. Well, now he has an excuse for Stannis. Bam. Okay. Swift clean. It. Trouble. You. Yep. You. What have you got there? Pigeon. Turn around and go. That's a nice little sword. Worth a hundred pigeons, a sword like that. Nothing's worth anything to dead men. Ooh. Hey there. Go, go. They're afraid of him. Who are you? Why were they scared of you? You lost this. <laughs> how'd, how'd you get that back? Oh my god. Crazy. You said there was no Jack and Hagar here. Because that name's Fink. A man is not Jack and Hagar. <laughs> oh, Who that's crazy. You? No one. Okay, no one. Is Wiggle must become. That dude is buff. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay. We took justice in our own hands, okay. Yep. Well... Why? This isn't good. Okay. That's not what she wanted. Hmm... What do you do then? Dude, ruling's tough. Yeah. He thought he was doing what was right. Why is the other side so quiet? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, man. They're not gonna like this. They're not gonna understand that. Aw, oh, man. God damn. Everyone went quiet. Silence is deafening. You get the hissing. Yeah. When you pick 35 on UTC. <laughs> oh, no. They don't see her. Oh, okay. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, oh my god. Good shield formation. I wonder, does she fear her people now? She no longer has them on her side. Is the dragon just roosting? Oh. What? Do you recognize her now? Like, Mom, I've been misbehaving. I'm sorry. <laughs> I burned like an eight-year-old. Now, where are my brothers? Don't, they don't even know. He doesn't even know. Oh, man, if you reject her. <laughs> How I feel Damn. when my dog gets out of my bed. <laughs> Hello. Well, that stings.
Yeah, being being a ruler is tough. Yep. She's going through it. Um It's not easy. I when mean, she it, first freed him. Not, not like you really have Wait, an alternative ahead. of like life imprisonment because as we mm-hmm. s- we've seen when people are in jail in this show, someone else just like walks into the cell and kills them. So Mm-hmm. Yeah, the penalty for everything is pretty much death. You don't have the means to have a functioning jail. <laughs> That's tough. Everything was looking good. Everyone's happy that they're freed, but actually ruling is a lot tougher. It's much tougher than she anticipated. Yeah. Um. I mean, but yeah, I don't think you have any other choice the guy i mean the guy he was doing it for her but still it's not the right thing to do it's going against what danny wanted and what she was trying to do but i don't know it it isn't you she's you can you you can be black and white about when it comes to justice and not like but from here on out like she's she has neither sides favoring her. Or maybe by doing this, uh, the former masters view her in a um in a better light. That she's not playing favorites with the former slaves. I don't know. But I think ultimately that scene was just showing us her because her because she did that, her people are now rejecting her. The masters already were rejecting her, and now her own dragon rejects her. So yeah, it's 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 very tough for her. Uh, I hope it doesn't continue to spiral down further from here. But something has got to change. She might snap. Do you think she made the right choice? <sighs> That's tough. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a lose lose. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You could you could bury it. Um you could hide the truth from your people. Uh and just hope it doesn't get out because I mean, who knows that he's been captured. But it I think it ultimately just depends on what her goal is if she's trying to show law and justice then he yeah him doing that was the wrong thing but i don't know i don't know that's that's tough i i also feel like it's unfortunate that uh when everybody left the room and she had that conversation with bear still alone and then made the decision of you know i'm gonna make sure he has a fair trial i Mm -hmm. i don't i don't know if like it was clear to him yeah communication. That, that was her because he said like I, I did what you wanted to do but you couldn't or, or something along those lines that is true that is like what she was initially feeling yeah i don't know so, if he knows that uh barristan changed her mind yeah so i feel like he was he was operating off what she uh, he believed to be um what what danny wanted uh, but like not no not, not everybody on her council is on the same page and that's where issues are arising it seems like everyone wants something di- like is supporting something different which is fair but it's causing division in uh in the society like the society in marine is already divided in half between slave former slaves and former masters it's it's hell of it's so it's so tough I, I really, it, it's extremely complicated. Uh, I don't know. Do y'all think she did? Well, what do you, since you asked me that question, what do you think? Oh boy. Uh, I, I think she did the right thing. I mean, it's, what, what have we seen so far? We've seen a son of the harpy kill an unsullied. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. we've seen another one hiding in the wall, potentially ready to kill someone he had knives in there mm-hmm. but, but was I, it him and they're like there there's there's a pro, like i forget who brought it up 
there was like the idea proposed that it wasn't him necessarily. It was basically uh, the former masters paying someone to do their dirty work for them. Which, but if the question is, we don't know whether or not he acted and did the deed, then he's been prematurely punished for a crime he did not commit. Which is why the whole trial was meant to be done. Yeah. With, with that being said, man, with, with all of the, if I'm Daenerys, like all the people that love me and look up to me, if they're like begging for mercy, mm-hmm. I feel like I'd fold, man. I just, I'd have to find another way. I don't know if I could go through with that. Yeah. If you fold, though, then what are you seen as a weak, weaker leader, or are you seeing as being more merciful? What, what message are you sending to your people? Well, I mean, maybe if you find a way to have mercy on one side, you find a way to have it on another side. They really do need like a better prison system with checks and balances where anyone can't just like roll into the cell and, you know, gain Mm -hmm. access to the prisoners. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. I have a solution. What's your solution? Burn them all. Lock them in the dungeon. See what the dragons do. They let them live. Okay. They, oh, the dragons are just trial by dragon. Better yes, yet, give him a trial by combat. He didn't even ask for a trial by combat. Is that not a thing in Essos? Maybe he didn't. Probably maybe not. He didn't know. But here's my two cents. We've seen good rulers in this show make decisions like that already. Not Stannis. Talking about Rob. Okay. Make decisions that are just. And they and, have unfortunate consequences. Uh huh. And so I think Danny needs to operate from a mindset of I need to stop worrying about what's right and what's wrong. And keeping things civil. If one guy dies, Mm -hmm. if one son of the harpy dies Mm -hmm. and half the city doesn't freak out like they did, that's a win. Then you're just fighting the sons of the harpy. Mm -hmm. But the sons of the harpy aren't going to be like all chill with Danny because she executed a slave, a former slave. Mm-hmm. So there, there's like the morally correct thing to do and, and then the, the objectively- actually correct thing to do. And she chose the morally correct thing to do. And that's. You that's can't how Rob be morally good his, in this show. Yeah, that's how Rob got his wolf sewed to his body. Being objectively it's- or morally correct yeah which is why we love the characters of course but mm-hmm. live in a cruel I, world bro sometimes you got to tell your homie no H- hindsight is a bitch but yeah i think she's already coming to regret her actions but i can't really do anything about it now yeah it's she is something if she might have already started something that can't be stopped and only time will tell uh i think we just need go we need unification first and foremost because this is just a new um ruling system she's uh imposing off something that was previously running for hundreds of years presumably longer than that i don't know the exact history of the you know, of of this world um it needs time there's too much prejudice from the former ruling system of viewing it as like two classes masters and slaves and there's it that's gonna be like a generational thing it's not it's not something that's going to be solved easily so mm-hmm. if you ignore small injustices for the sake of having greater unity then Object, like that would be your best idea but she that's not the mindset she's operating off of but we will see um we only saw how one side reacted to it i don't we don't know how the masters feel and we've seen despite the former ruling system there were people fr- from that were like classified as masters that can be described as good not all of them were bad 
Um, I think that's a tough thing to say. But all things considered, there's potential allies within the Masters that aren't pieces of shit who just want slavery back. Uh, but yeah, tough conversation. Um, I'm no political expert. Uh, mm-hmm. And it, so we'll, we'll leave that for another time. Uh, no name is back. <laughs> no one is back. I can't really call him Jack and Hagar because he, he is not him. <laughs> That's just a face he took. I did not expect it to be him. But it is interesting how, I mean, if he's meant to be no one, his no one facade is being, is recognized by some people. Uh, those three boys, like those, those three dudes in the alley ran away from him. So, I mean, it makes sense. He, he's, he's from the house of black and white. Um, really good Pokemon games. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, we've, we're, we're finally in there. Don't want to know how he got the coin back. He went Maybe swimming. he was just, he just watched like the, the black and white door has a little peephole. He just dove in after Arya got like walked away. But good job. Can't lose that. It's important. And yeah, uh, John is the new commander of the Night's Watch. That's pretty sick. I'll just say we're, that, we're, we're, that was my favorite scene of this episode. And there were a lot of good scenes in this episode. <laughs> yeah. That and Stannis offering John Stark title. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Both really cool. Yeah, no. That's him just kind of using John as a pawn. I don't respect it. You don't respect anything good people do in this show. It's it's based off ill intentions. He's trying to lure him in with sweet words. It's it's a win for a win. It's a win. Listen, I don't okay. support it. I understand why he's doing it. Because if his goal is to kick Bolton out, he needs someone to rule the North in its place. And it should be the Starks. But I will not have the Starks be a pawn for Stannis. I disagree with that. Um, because, I mean, his end goal... I don't know, man. I don't think I'm being unreasonable here. But Blake sees me as... as I think you're just being devil. naive. I don't think I'm being naive. It is a win. Like, objectively, sure. But hey, that doesn't matter now. He pledged himself to the wall. He ha- he can't he can't really take the duty of um ruling the north until something happens to the night's watch I guess and you just got a sick promotion mm-hmm I love that Sam called out buddy for pissing himself yeah, no in slang. the meat in the meat room yeah I don't I don't care about his name I'll be He's honest got a weird name <laughs> yeah. I only remember the names of people I respect. Yeah, he's just coward. That's actually a false statement because I remember too uh, too many names of people I don't respect in this show. But that was a really cool scene. I'm yeah, glad shut people up to Sam for like you mm-hmm. know giving that speech about John and for uh, Eamon for breaking the tie. Mm-hmm. That was really cool. Him putting his coin down. He's like, "All right, you got my vote." He believes in the new blood. The old heads need to get out. Uh, I mean, I, I respect Sir Alistair's uh, accolades, yeah. but he's just... Uh, <laughs> like, like was said about him in this episode, he is an unpleasant person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he even gave props to John. Yeah. Because it was a do. And what he was saying about, like, questioning his loyalty and, like, his interactions with the wildlings, I think that is fair to question. Mm-hmm. But now I wonder if John is commander of the Night's Watch, does he get decide to decide what is done to the wild wildings, the free people? I like that name better. 
That's interesting. What will he do? I do like the idea of him becoming essentially the new Mance Raider, but better, and unifying um, the Night's Watch with the wild, with the free people. Uh, I just don't know how they feel about that. If they would, I mean, if they maybe they would see John putting um, Mance Raider down as uh, like favorably for not like letting him suffer, but that'll be an interesting conversation. And I feel like that's what's it's going to lead, start leading to. Ultimately, there's still a thread beyond the wall, and they and they they need, they need people. They, they don't need them. Uh, Stannis do, doesn't need them to free the North. You need them at the wall. Um, but yeah, that was a really cool scene. It took Sam a little bit to work up his courage. We saw him like kind of hesitating for like a good bit there. I'm, I'm I'm glad he spoke up, and I'm glad he got the support from everybody, except the old heads. Um, a lot happened in this episode, so I'm just kind of going through my notes. Uh, Jamie is going down to Dorne with Braun. That's a duo that's really interesting. I didn't expect it to lead to that. I know that we, I, I enjoyed him sparring, but I mean, I guess <sighs> Jamie doesn't really have any other friends besides Braun, unfortunately. That's not unfortunate. That's a good friend to have, kind of. <laughs> but all because Cersei kind of betrayed him and now Jamie's offering him a better deal and you asked me earlier what I thought of uh, um, Oberyn's brother Doran yeah I think he seems so far like a sensible guy you know he doesn't agree with mutilating a child to get back as as a form of revenge for an injustice that's been done to them. Well, if you remember, injustices. Oberyn said that too. Mm-hmm. Said in, in Dorne, we don't mutilate children or something like almost exactly identical line. Yeah. So, so now you know where he gets that from. If he's of a similar mindset to his brother, then I think that's a dub. Unless he gets f- fancy with it. At at the at the end, like at the finish line, and get shit on. Um, it's like we can't be doing that. So, if if that's who Jamie comes across and speaks to, um, because there's still the question of who sent the snake with the with the necklace, and was that that was Oberyn's wife, right? His paramour. Yes, well, his paramour. I believe. Her, okay. I know her last name, San El- Elysia. Sup- something like that. Elaria. Elaria. San. Okay. I, it's been a while, so I didn't immediately recognize her. But, like, I understand she's more. I'm pretty like, sure she had a haircut, too. Yes. The, the short hair did throw me off. I know you remember so, her screaming her head off when Oberyn <laughs> got killed. Yes. 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 So. I understand why she wants revenge. Uh, however, Marcella, 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 Marcella is not the means to do it. So, but I'm assuming it would have to be, if anyone, so far it seems like it would have to be her who sent that, because based off what Doran was saying, like for him to say that in be the person who sent it that would that wouldn't line up but who knows you're you're Um, right by the way that was a wheelchair it was a wheelchair okay i wasn't sure so the excuse that his brother couldn't come here is because he's paralyzed and they don't want he's not i don't think he's paralyzed uh i think he has like a degenerative nerve condition that makes him weak okay Okay, so, uh, okay. Regardless, um, they didn't, Oberyn came to King's Landing in his place, uh, for appearances. It would, um, and they're, I, I believe they're hiding, like, the true state of him, like, of his health from outside people. Um, which makes sense. 
that would because that would just like show weakness uh in some regard and like make your enemies act if they know that so that's interesting i wasn't sure but like he never got out the chair so i kind of like was still unsure and i just didn't sh- well, I, w- I didn't know if my eyes were playing tricks on me but that's interesting i really want to see more of him because i based off histories and lore i think the lore behind um dorn is pretty sick uh last thing i think we can speak on is i mean there's two two things the tavern scene with brianne brianne and pod meeting up with peter and sansa unfortunately brianne does not have the best track record oh for two yeah i mean if anything i well they don't know about oh for three Peter, unfortunately, is not lying. Uh, so he he's an excellent manipulator. Um, I did not realize Santa dyed her hair, but I guess it makes sense. But yeah. She's making her choices. I can understand uncertainty of following a new face. But still, she's still capped with Peter, and Peter is... I just kind of want to throw up when, when I see him. Uh, good job at an actor for playing a vile character. Props to him. Uh, but holy shit. The ki- the kiss still haunts me. Uh, and then there's an interesting conversation between, um, Varys and Tyrion. Talking about power and rule. Talking about how even though they're good at their job, they're not good at leaders. And how they... <laughs> The people would hate them and they hate the people. It's just a it's a really funny conversation spoken out loud. Uh but yeah. I'm I'm really liking the season so far. Looking forward to we still still no update on, on Bran. But that's fine. Maybe next episode. But I do like that Arya is here in Bravos and back with her old friend No one. Formerly Jack yeah. and Agar. Okay. Good? I'm good. Corey? I'm good. Excellent. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when these go live every Sunday. But if you want to wait, early access up to four weeks on our Patreon right now. Check that link in the description below. There's also a link to join our free Discord and links to check out all our social media. So hit all those and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Let's do it.